Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to check it out how to stack 3D text in Illustrator. Let's select the type tool. Click. I can type in R, scale it up. A right click, create outline. Actually, I'm going to use the Pathfinder to unite it. And I'm going to select the color. I'm going to go with gray because I'm going to apply the 3D effect. So I'm going to go to effects, 3D materials, 3D classic, extrude and bevel classic. Go to the off axis front. We're going to change it with isometric top. And also we're going to change the bevel to classic. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to press and hold Shift plus Alt and scale it up. And I'm going to go back to the appearance 3D and bevel classic. Let me check it out. Extrude and depth. And we're going to decrease the height or adjust it a little bit and also decrease the extrusion depth. Ah, this is even better. Check it out. Click OK. So it just looks something like this. I'm going to go to the object, expand appearance, right click on group, right click on group. OK, I'm going to select them all and I'm going to press and hold Alt and drag it up. Also press Shift to isolate. I'm going to make them fit like this. And I'm going to remove these bottom bevels. And I'm going to select these one by one because these contain a lot more things. So I'm going to go to the Pathfinder, click on Unite. If you don't have a Pathfinder, go to the Windows and select here the Pathfinder. And I'm going to do the same thing with the rest. And from here, we can recolor these. I'm going to recolor the top, maybe with yellow. I'm going to make this funky. And the last step I'm going to do is select the direct selection tool and I'm going to select these bottom. There's like a lot of anchor points that it created. I'm going to need to select all. I'm going to press and hold shift, select everything. And I'm going to select also these anchor points and this and also these, I think. Hope it's going to work. I'm going to drag it down almost. Anyways, I'm going to drag this also. Whoop. There you go. And this is how you stack text in perspective in Illustrator. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can notify with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.